video is not to get Cal off of Nigel. Kate and her boyfriend Dan are anything. This video is just kind of giving people an eye opener that things are really going on. My heartbeats welcome back to my youtube channel and as you can tell by the title today we are going to be talking about depression and the reason why i want to get on this sensitive topic is because this morning i had um i came across a story and i'm gonna you know put where i, where I first seen it at but i went to the girls live and she had a boyfriend who was basically bashed, <clears throat> and her name is Kat, and I believe the boy's name is Maurice. First, I just want to say I'm sorry for her loss. Second, I want to say I, I hope to find a real close friend as close as Asia or her friend that was in the video let me get myself together because we're not going to kind this whole video this is a prime example of some of the things that I went through myself and I felt the same way like in the in the live, she just calls herself stupid. She just keeps calling herself stupid, and that's how I felt too. And it's not saying that you know the person that I dealt with killed themselves, but everything that was going on in that live made me realize like I kind of went through the same stuff. And I didn't really think because I ended up putting my family in the way of things that I should have just left alone. But I want people to understand, like, when it's, when you actually really, like, love someone, when you, like, really love someone, and it's a difference from being infatuated and loving someone. It's really hard to come to terms with, like, you know, wanting to leave them and leave them alone and stuff. And then that's where you get to call yourself stupid and all this other stuff. It's just like, you're not stupid for being in love. It just makes it seem that way. So, also, I want to apologize to Kat because... In her life, she also said something about the fact, and I'm gonna actually try to find that part because she was saying what I was thinking, and she, along the lines, talked about her being, you know, passable. And a lot of times, you know, you do see trans girls that you know aren't passable and that are passable but it's like who are you to say someone's passable or not and for her to talk about that I see myself being with those type of people and I just want to say I'm sorry because being a part of this community we should be a little bit more accepting even if people aren't as passable, we shouldn't think instantly off the top of our heads like, oh, that girl, not going to deal with her because she isn't passable or whatever. Because I actually have a friend who isn't passable neither, but it's not all about being passable. It's just about living, living your life and being happy with the decisions that you make. And I just want to apologize because instantly when I see her photos, 
I'm not like, oh, like, she's ugly. But as she said, she's the type that gets bashed because she isn't passable. And when I was looking at her pictures, I was like, this is probably why she had to go through so much. Is because she wasn't passable enough. And all these people would just bash her because, you know, she may look more boyish than maybe her friends or she may look boyish like just in you know in general and and just her life brought back so many memories it's crazy because depression is real like people really don't think like other people will kill themselves and she took the right initiative to like take herself out of you know that spot and you know move move to New York just for that little you know that little time period to get herself together and try to help him her name is Princess underscore wild underscore cat I don't know how long the live has been up here let me see it's actually going to be taken off in three hours but I don't want to be the one to record her lives without her permission but I think this live really needs to be seen because there's a lot of emotion in it. There's a lot of bravery. I'm sorry, y'all. It's just things hit different when, when you actually been through something, you know, a little similar. And. boyfriend had you know overdose and that's just a big example of you know being depressed like you know you don't want to second guess someone saying they're going to kill themselves but at the same time sometimes people say that just so that you'll stay with them you know what I'm saying but just to think about someone seeing that and actually going through with it you can only imagine how she feels like herself. And when I tell you guys I watched this live through like every bit of it and I literally took everything in because this, this live is filled with so much emotion and love that this girl was getting beat on just to stay with him. It's so hard because I'm not really, really trying to get it together to, to talk because I would never wish this on nobody. He didn't want to stop because if he went to get help, they were going to keep on me. I'm just expressing, you know, what I was going through. It was so bad that he was chasing my best friend in the heart did. Now, and like, what, what other thing? For her to have a best friend like this, to deal with her, well, to, to actually live and go through with it, go through, to actually live with her and go through everything with her as well. That's a real ass best friend. That's a real ass best friend. I just want everyone for themselves to like just take the time out, kind of talk to your friends and stuff, just to see if everything is okay because you never know. That also goes for family. And because at times, like, you know, I don't feel okay. It's not that I would say I want to end my life, but 
not been okay can just be that beginning stage, you know, of it being more than what, you know, you think it is going to be. I just want to say that depression is most definitely real. Also bringing up another situation about Nigel. Um, I wanted to do a story on him a long time ago as well. I don't feel like I want to base my, my YouTube channel off of people's you know, deaths and things, but I just, these two particular deaths, or, you know, something, something real important in the LGBT community, and I don't think a lot of people realize, because if we don't have each other's backs, no one, no one's gonna have our backs, like, like we have to understand we live in a world where everyone is not accepting and then when it comes down to your own community not being accepting of you it's like you have no one and i feel like if you're going through anything you should really go to a counselor or something me personally just so any just so people out there probably won't feel you know bad for going to counseling just to let you guys know, I'm going to be going to counseling. I deal with a lot of things that I don't deal with, you know, or that I don't show on social media. And Nigel, he was also bullied. And these were people who were these were people who were comfortable living in their own skin, like. But the Nigel situation, he was he was very much accepted by like his mother and stuff. It was just the bullying at school and the people not being understanding the kids at that kids. Like, I seen a video and I forgot who said it, but it's very much true on Nigel's part that he was he was very brave to be so young and to, you know, be able to live in his truth so young because I just remember how hard it was for me to come out and to be and to be able to and being able to already come out and find yourself at a young age and not being scared of what other people think that says a lot but now you know these kids being bashed and bullied and stuff and also back to Kate's um boyfriend like they have videos of him like you know and I'm actually gonna put the video up I um I hope she doesn't mind but I just feel like it's very important for this video to go up because this is someone that you've seen that didn't give a fuck about what anybody says you say, keep it a B, you fuck what? You fuck what? Bro, bro, you do what? Fuck training, so what? That, that's thorough? Hey, yo, who make me feel sturdy? Wait, that's not thorough? You sucking dick and all that. That's not thorough, sucking dick and all that. He don't suck dick, he don't get He suck dick. She was just like, that's the only person that's gonna love me. And he's gone. <laughs> it's like, it's a feel that way. <laughs> but if someone, if someone's, someone's out there for everyone, this is a milestone. Like, you know, her life, but to think 
that it's just like you know the only reason that's gonna love you or that you actually found someone that's gonna love you you need to find somebody else it's just sad because you never know what someone's thinking when they say when they say those words like this is the only person who's gonna love me because when that person is gone Who are you gonna go to? But her best friend, her best friend is a real MVP. Like, I also want to say, rest in peace to Nigel as well. I, um, I don't want these to be based off of, and I'm gonna have to put this at the beginning of my video, and I'm also gonna leave this for the end of my video. This video is not to get clout off of Nigel's Kate and her boyfriend death or anything. This video is just kind of giving people an eye opener that the things are really going on. And even though that people stay in other states, we may not see when those things are going on. But like, we just need to be a little bit more accepting. And for and for the police system. Fuck them like it's so hard you know to get the police involved when you're a trans girl when you're a gay boy when when you're along the lines of that people instantly like she said don't give a fuck when they see that m is on your shit on your driver's license or when they know your real name and it's that shit people start to give a fuck you know very i mean People start to not give a fuck very quickly. Like, they may be up here when you're first in there. But once they find out that you're a boy who dresses as a girl or whatever, that's when the care, the care goes down. I just want to say you guys that I I go through the same exact stuff that anybody else goes through. People who think I have such a better life than them, it may not be it. That may not be it. What you see on the camera, you may have a whole better life than me. Better days, a better life. A better housing situation a better financial situation I really just want people to understand that depression is real like depression is real and I've been wanting to do this video for the longest let me tell you guys something when you can really understand something and you've been down that same road it kind of brings memories back like it brings memories back at where this person that I thought, you know, loved me just like in her life. There was no doubt in my mind that that person loved me. But when when that person isn't good for you, you have to let them go. Like, and it's hard. It's hard to let someone go that you really love. And like these people who talk about like they're in love and stuff. You don't know how how hard it is to actually be in love with someone. Because it's dangerous. Being in love with people is dangerous. Like, because you get your feelings involved. And when you get your feelings involved, a lot of careless things happen. And not saying, see, because... Because you having feelings, that does say you care. But what comes with having feelings and strong feelings for someone, you could do careless things to, you know, just make the outlook look a little bit worse than what it actually is. Like, you know, when you kind of care for someone too much, that might kind of strike a nerve in them because it's like once... 
people should care for someone so much here like madly in love with them and say for instance it doesn't work out then the only way that they can kind of cope with things is that they take you out with them but I think um I think I'm done talking about depression as of now, but I just want to say to my LGBT community, to my LGBT community, that I love you guys and what is beautiful in their own little way. If you're out there and you're scared to come out, it's okay. It is very much okay. But it just sucks when you let society keep you right here when you want to be, you know, up here with everybody else. Like, you know, you want to be free. You want to be able to live in your truth. And society now today makes everyone scared to want to live in their truth me personally i am a happy trans woman with hiv and i take care of myself and the things that i've been through have only made me stronger and i've only learned from them i will say today was a little bit more of an eye-opener when someone kind of physically goes through what you go through or what you have went through it hits different and I think this I think her love kind of made me you know actually want to talk about like depression a little bit more because I held it all and I always tried to think about what I was going to say instead of just running with it and what's in here and how I feel about it in a whole and it's very much real it's very real and a lot of people I think tend to think it's not just because someone doesn't show that they cry every day just because someone doesn't show they cut every day just because someone doesn't show that they're you know not really feeling themselves today everyone puts on a fake persona a fake smile some, and that's sometimes I'm not saying all the time some people do have that all the time because you know they're not actually happy and, you know that come and that comes with you know being bullied or you know life not going as good and for you not to really know what someone's going through you might can just it's either you might just brighten their day with something that you say or you might just ruin their day with something that you say and a lot of times people have to realize that and sometimes the really turn the other cheek and turn the other cheek doesn't make you like a bitch a pussy a cunt none of that stuff it doesn't make you nothing along the lines of that it makes you start to like live in the real world people who turn the other cheek you that look you turning that other cheek that when you was just about to fight old boy for talking all that shit like and this is just an example when you was about to fight old boy for talking all that shit you could, your ass could have been in jail. No one would have get, gave a fuck about you no more. Well, not, and not necessarily saying that. But, you know, you basically, you're just doing, you're just doing it because at that, at that moment, you're mad. Like, you have, a lot of times you have to turn the other cheek because what they may do is going to wind their ass up in jail somewhere. You turn the other cheek, that fair day that everything went down, now your ass is out got a job doing good all that other stuff instead of being behind bars with the guy that you know that you was gonna have an argument with or that you was gonna fight or excuse me and a lot of times fighting you can accidentally kill somebody but y'all fall and guess what everybody got it on video now so guess who killed who? So you killed old boy in the fight. Or, you know, you injured old boy in the fight. 
you actually was the one that got the upper hand on him and still get in trouble just because he was bullying and you are whatever the case may be and it don't have to be not have to be um necessarily lgbt you need a straight people as well but i just think a lot of times you know you just have to you have to think before you do I'm going to put Kat's name, I mean her Instagram, in the description. And if you could, I really would like you guys to go, you know, send her, send her much love. And, of course, not to forget about Nigel. I'm going to put his Instagram also down in the link in the description below. Also, to still just go show him some love and let him know that we still love him and, you know, everything happens for a reason. I want to apologize. I, I was, I know I was crying a lot. But like I said, it just, it hits different when kind of like everything that they were going through you were going through and it's like what if what if I stay you get what I'm saying but that's the that's the story for another game and it's, it'll probably be a story that won't be out anytime soon anytime soon and that's why I know a lot of people are asking me on my social media where was I, where have I been, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's because I had to take a break as well off of social media because of personal problems in my life that I wanted to get handled and situated. And I'm not gonna say they're fully they're fully handled, but I'm not gonna say I'm gonna worry about them as much. Because me worrying about them, I can't give you guys the content I want to give you guys and I want to be able to be close with you guys and for anybody who needs to talk to me that I'm here and I'm my shit is open my inboxes are open all the social media sites you can think of so like Facebook people who don't have Facebook people who don't have Twitter people who don't have Snapchat somebody got one of them what you want me to make what you want me to make a WhatsApp Cause I make a WhatsApp like anything that anybody needs from me. That you feel like will help help you. Hit me up. Let's talk. Let's chit chat. Because I still go through depression myself. I am not the strongest person. I appreciate everyone for saying that I am brave. Or the things that I have revealed to you guys and I don't think it's you know all about bravery but I think along the lines when people see and in the video that I showed because I, I did I am gonna put the video still in here when people see that you don't excuse my stomach is growling I woke up early this morning and I cried the whole entire live. I watched the whole entire live and cried. But that's it. When people see that you don't give a fuck, that makes them like, damn. We gotta try to hurt this person even more. Like, we have to hurt this person even more or just not give a fuck. And nine times out of ten, people should just not give a fuck. Because it's, it's you that have to deal with it. It's you that have, have to, like, live that life. It's who you're laying with at night not them and a lot of times people are scared because they aren't able to live that life or they aren't able to live in their truth so they rather bash someone for living in theirs which doesn't make it right at all and what I and what I really want you guys to get from this video because I didn't speak really so much 
on my opinion of it i don't feel like i basically kind of gave y'all the rundown of the things that were going on and these people were being bullied and they committed suicide and i'm not sure how nigel did but her boyfriend overdosed and her best friend found her and her best friend has lived with her through this so that's the real ass best friend and i'm gonna just keep saying that regardless of what everyone else has to say about the situation what she spoke in the live was very much true and that's just a real ass friend like i just hope someone else recorded this live will put it out there and I hope she puts it out there I hope maybe she can save it herself and actually put it on the internet because it really will help it's not only going to help her it's going to help others out here it's okay I'm going to feed you some that's my baby but um yeah I don't think she realizes but I just want to say I'm sorry for anyone who's lost someone. And I know that means I'm talking to everybody. And I just want you guys to have a good day. Um, this video probably won't be uploaded till about two days later. But everything happens for a reason. I love you guys. My heart beats. I want to say thank you for everyone who supports me, everyone who is still here by my side, everyone who doesn't judge me off of the conditions that I have. And I just want everyone to also remember to be a little bit more open minded. And even if someone isn't passable in our LGBT community, that doesn't mean that we come that we have to come out and say it. But if you feel like you can help them, you know, be a little bit more fit. If you feel like you can help them, you know, help themselves. Like, you do it in a respectable way. You don't do it by like, oh, you're ugly, you look like a boy. Or, oh, you look like a boy and she looks like a girl. Like, you don't do it that way. And if you're not attracted to someone, you can simply say, I'm just not attracted to you. You don't have to call them ugly. You don't have to go out, out, you know. You don't have to go all out. You don't have to tell them why they're ugly and why you don't want to be with them. And yes, sometimes you do because people don't get that. But it's just a certain way that you go about things. And I just want people to kind of think before you talk and that goes for me as well i'm i'm learning just like you guys are every single day learning something new and getting myself together because i need to get myself together so that i so that my family can you know actually have a better life i'm i'm so ready i'm i'm absolutely ready to give them everything that I can give them and everything that I work hard for I'm going to give to my supporters and give to my um, my family my friends you know all that along the lines of that because they deserve it people who have been by my side they the, they very much deserve it and I want to get a, give a shout out to my boyfriend because even though all the stuff that we go through, I definitely don't doubt that this man loves me at all. Like not, like not, a, not even like a tad little bit. Like, oh, does he love me or does he not? Like, no, it's he loves me, and I love you too. And I appreciate you still being here. And you know, you've been going through everything with me about to be a year and so you know you're very much used to it baby i'm gonna feed you okay i'm gonna feed you but 
I love you guys. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and click on that bell for post notifications from when I upload YouTube videos. And I'm not going to say that I am not going to do sensitive topics on my YouTube or even show my, you know, condone, condolence. That's how you pronounce it. It's hard for me to pronounce that word, but, you know, show my sympathy for those who have lost someone. Yes, yeah, so I just want to say that, you know, once again, anybody that needs to talk, anybody that needs to come to me about anything, I am here with open arms. And, yeah, just stay living in the truth. Look at me about to do